Hello, 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 everybody. It is time for your eight minutes of college, and I am live on Instagram. Come see me on Instagram. If you want to catch the replay, you can always go to YouTube, or you can listen to my podcast. All great options. So, allow me to introduce myself again. I am Renee Bailey, your holistic college coach, here to talk to you about mental health. And mental health is actually a really hot topic right now. The reason being that Naomi Osaka, who is a f absolutely huge tennis phenom, skipped out or withdrew from the French Open to take care of her mental health rather than be subjected to media scrutiny directly after matches. And honestly, I think there is a huge, huge lesson for college students in her doing this. Now, of course, she is a young person and um, I'm sure many college students kind of relate to the idea of needing a mental health day. And I think there's a really good message that she's trying to send, which is, as she said, it's okay not to be okay. There are going to be times in life when you have to pause and take care of yourself. It's just the way it is. And even as a college student, I think you should see it as okay to occasionally take a mental health day. As long as it's not an everyday habitual thing. When it starts to fall into that category, maybe it's time for you to seek a little help, a little redress um, professionally for whatever's going on with you that makes you feel like you are constantly having issues just getting through the day. And I definitely want to encourage you, if you are feeling that way, to get the help you need. But I think it's normal. I think it's a process of life. I think it is part of what we all go through just as human beings in this very different world of ours, especially with COVID and everything else that's been going on and all the, the big emotions that we're all feeling about, well, let's just see. Uh, there's the COVID, there is the uh, political situation, there is racial tension. All these big things are happening in society as a whole now, globally. Not just in the US, but globally. So I think it's normal and okay for us not to be okay with that. To have to feel like we have to make an adjustment every now and again to fill our cups up so that we can overflow and help people from our overflow, as a lot of people say. So where do you stand on this? That's what I want to know. Where do you stand on this? Do you think that she was right? Do you think that she should have just manned up? I want to know. Uh, I honestly, I want to know your opinion. What, what, what do people out there in internet land think of this? I think it's an important topic for us to tackle as a society, as a, as a whole, as I said. So I really want to know how you, what, what was your reaction when you heard the news that she was doing this? Or, you know, what was, it, have you heard about it? Maybe you even haven't heard about it. I think there is a lot to be gained by investigating our own mental health. I think there's a lot to be gained by helping ourselves in the mental health realm. I think we all need to make sure that we're all doing okay and realizing when we're not okay, it's okay to take a break. It's okay, as she said, not to be okay. So I hope, I hope, I hope that this was very helpful. 
Uh, it's going to be a discussion that you probably have a lot throughout your time in college as well. There's a lot more colleges packing on to the idea that they need to take care of their students' mental health, especially with suicide rates increasing and things like that going on on campus. So guys, comment, give me your opinion, tell me what you think. Was Naomi Osaka correct in taking some time out for herself? I'm, I'm going to be blunt with my opinion. I think she was totally within her rights to do that. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this little eight minutes of college. And I will talk to you later.